The grey-eyed morn smiles on the frowning night, checkering the eastern clouds with streaks of light, and flecked darkness like a drunkard reels from fourth day's path and tightens fiery wheels. Now, ere the sun advance his burning eye, the day to cheer and night stank dew to dry, I must up fill this osier cage of ours with baleful weeds and precious juiced flowers. The earth that nature's mother is her tomb, what is her burying grave that is her womb? We sucking on her natural bosom find, many for many virtues excellent, none but for some and yet all different. Oh, mickle is the powerful grace that lies in herbs, plants, stones, and their true qualities. For naught so vile that on the earth doth live but to the earth some special good doth give, nor aught so good but strained from that fair use revolts from true birth, stumbling on abuse, virtue itself turns vice, being misapplied, and vice sometimes by action dignified. Within the infant rind of this small flower poison hath residence and medicine power, for this, being smelt, with that part cheers each part, being tasted, slays all senses with the heart, two such opposed kings encamp them still in man as well as herbs, grace and rude will, and whether worser is predominant, full soon the canker death eats up that plant, good morrow, father. Benedicite. What, early tongue so sweet saleth me, young son? It argues a distempered head so soon to bid good morrow to thy bed. Care keeps his watch in every old man's eye, and where care lodges, sleep will never lie, but where unbruised youth with unstuffed brain doth couch his limbs. The golden sleep doth reign, therefore thy earliness doth me assure thou art uproused by some distemperature, or if not so, then here I hit it right, our Romeo hath not been in bed tonight. That last is true, the sweet arrest was mine. God pardon sin. Wast thou with Rosaline? With Rosaline, my ghostly father. No, I have forgot that name, and that name's woe. That's my good son, but where hast thou been, then? I'll tell thee, ere thou askest me again. I have been feasting with mine enemy. Where on a sudden one hath wounded me, that's by me wounded, both our remedies within my help, and holy physical eyes. I bear no hatred. Blessed man, for, lo, my intercession likewise steads my foe. Be plain, good son, and homely in thy drift, riddling confession finds but riddling shrift. Then plainly know my heart's dear love is set on the fair daughter of rich Capulet, as mine on hers. So hers is set on mine, and all combined, save what thou must combine by holy marriage, when and where and how we met, we would and made exchange of vow, I'll tell thee as we pass, but this I pray, that thou consent to marry us today. Holy Saint Francis, what a change is here? Is Rosaline, whom thou didst love so dear, so soon forsaken? Young men's love then lies not truly in their hearts, but in their eyes. Jesu Maria, what a deal of brine hath washed thy sallow cheeks for Rosaline! How much salt water thrown away in waste, to season love, that of it doth not taste! The sun not yet thy sighs from heaven clears, Thy old groans ring yet in my ancient ears, lo! Here upon thy cheek the stain doth sit of an old tear that is not washed off yet, if e'er thou wast thyself and these woes thine, thou and these woes were all for Rosaline, and art thou changed? Pronounce this sentence then, women may fall, when there's no strength in men. Thou chidst me oft for loving Rosaline for doting, not for loving, pupil mine and badst me bury love. Not in a grave, to lay one in, another out to have. I pray thee, chide not, she whom I love now doth grace for grace and love for love allow, the other did not so. Oh, she knew well thy love did read by rote and could not spell. But come, young waverer, come, go with me. N. 1. Respect I'll thy assistant be for this alliance may so happy prove, to turn your household's rancor to pure love? Oh, let us hence, I stand on sudden haste. Wisely and slow, they stumble that run fast. Exeunt.